Watermelon to them is just water. Okay? They have no nutrition value, not enough vitamin for doing anything for them. So citrus, lemon, lime, grapefruit, orange. Any citrus you have, slice and break open the, the skin, store them in it. Let them play. Let them eat and then end of the day, take the skin out when it's still floating. Okay? That's a vitamin C. Vitamin C is the first vitamin that will disappear out of your koi food. So you need a supplement. Any green leaf vegetable, lettuce, anything green leaf, right? Lady know more variety of green leaf vegetables than I ever can think of. Those are good for them. Vitamin A, vitamin B, go for it. Because they are vegetarian. If you look at the fish, if a mouse face down, what it tell you? They're eating on the bottom, naturally, right? So now the meaty food. Meaty food you only feed in summertime when water temperature is 72 degrees or warmer, which is like freeze-dried creole, soak on pulpit, all this food. We gain weight. Because in summertime, when carp, like poison carp, in the lake, in the stream, river, they swim around, a lot of bug, a lot of shrimp, a lot of crab, that's what they eat. Winter time, everybody hide, they can't find nothing. So if that's a naturally they suppose to eat, we try to supply them naturally. So that way they will grow stronger and healthier. A lot of people start using sokoon. Sokoon pure is a very, is the best food, natural food, and also the most dangerous food. Because of such a high protein and fat content. Usually 60-65% protein with a 15% fat. What does that tell you? Don't put it in the freezer. You don't eat anything out of the freezer with fat, right? And then you need to stay cool. They all come in vacuum pack. Once you open that bag, you probably have a one month to use up. So if you get, lost, get a launch bag, talk to your neighbor, your club member, your friend, whoever have koi, share. That way, you don't have anything to spoil. How you know the food is no good? You smell murky. You throw them in when they eat, next day you see the floating poop, kind of like a gelatin. Bad stomach. Stop. Okay? Free dried krill is good because they have keratins in there that will bring the red color up and also fat, I think 8% fat. So those only in the summer. Vegetable you can use it year round. Diet, you need to fast them in the winter. Think about natural koi. Down south, whatever area, China. In natural winter too cold, they don't eat, they rest. We don't have a winter. California don't have, really have a winter, we keep on feeding them. So they keep on eating and growing them, but then they never rest. Why Japanese fish look so much prettier than our fish are color-wise and skin-wise? Because they, they don't feed in two, three, four months in the winter. They live under the ice, they won't die, but they don't eat. But we still try to feed them, that's a problem, right? So let them rest. The way I look is grow, rest, grow, rest. When they're not growing, what they do, the color come up. Asia country, Taiwan, Vietnam, Philippines, all this warmer country, they have no winter. Fish grow like crazy. They grow a lot faster. But they call us light, like an extension cool orange. Because if you feed colorful, they grow, they don't, color don't come up. So what you have to do, just don't let them grow. Stop the growth. Now the colors are catch up. Any question at this point? Okay, yes. What about like liquid vitamins? Like sort of like orange juice? Those are good. Those are good. There's a yogurt type of drink you can get from Asian market. It's like a, like a, huh? Yes, like a yogurt type of drink. So for human to replace a bacteria enzyme in your, in your digestive system. Every time if I see fish are floating food, one day no food, day after we soak that in the food and then feed them. It's a live enzyme helping digest, helping build up a enzyme in your stomach or I mean the intestine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we will try, a lot of people feed them bread, bread is okay, butter is no good, right? Cereal, cereal is okay, but every food they design have a certain value but maybe missing something, so koi food should be always your main feed. You can feed them a citrus and vegetable as a supplement, you can feed them a, all the meaty food, people feed mealworm, those are okay. But I found out that maybe they have a different hormone in there to try to make it grow faster. That's not good. People feeding earthworm, whatever in the garden and find out, those good, but you don't know what the earth's been eating, whatever in the soil, right? So maybe that's not good.
So to me, the easy cleanest one is freeze-dried food. Those freeze-dried probably kill all bacteria anyway. I use the fish a lot before before I have a kid. I use the fish, San Diego deep, deep sea fishing. They love tuna. When you catch in tuna, go home. If I don't eat the sashimi that night, steak the next day, and I won't touch it no more. Because I just wait till next week go fish more. So I cut them out a little cube. They seem to love it. It's a natural food, right? Fish meat, right? All the koi food. Crooked, I, I never fed before. I think they get too too many bony parts. I don't know what caused any trouble for them. Whenever we find them, we throw them in and they try and get them. Oh! Big ones, small ones, crickets. Okay. Crooked, I don't think it's that bad, because but bee is a big problem. One day I was sitting in the room, I saw a bee fell in the water and then flop around. I'm thinking, oh, cool, for extra protein. And then I said, oh, no. One fish come and took the fish, apparently stomp in the, in the throat, the fish a spiral, run into the rock, run into the bottom, jump, nut, and die. How about snails? Snails good, depending on what they be eating. Well, if you have no poison in your yard and they're garden snails? If you don't use the chemical, I think it's okay. Because that's, that naturally they will find all those stuff. Because they like those too. Right. Okay, so we will try to imitate what nature gave it to the koi. Because we have a concrete pond, they have nothing in there. If we don't supplement, they don't have it. So our job is try to get as much as they can for them in summer. Winter time, try to give yourself a two week rest. Like my house, for example, December, January, I live in East Anaheim, towards Anaheim Hills. So December, January is the two coldest months. So I will feel all the way to October and November taper down to zero. I think it's kind of cruel you feed them four times a day and then from tomorrow you ain't eat for two months. I don't think it's, it's fair for them, do you think? So I feel you should taper down to zero and then two months off. And then usually January sometime, when we start feeding them, we use a yogurt to help them replace the enzyme, we feed them, get a slowly start. Very, very patient. Everybody gets three, four, five pallets yeah, yeah. for the week and a little bit more, a little bit more, slowly come down. What weather get cold, decrease. Don't don't feed them. But the two months when you stop, not because of Christmas time, all your friends come and visit, no, oh, let's feed them. That's very bad. Now they're gonna they're gonna have a stomach problem. Okay? Any question this time? Yes. Yeah, do you, do you apply the same principle to the fish you have here? The one for retail, we cannot feed that much. The reason is, we don't know that fish, that fish is going to go into Texas the next night. So we feed them four times during the summer, winter time two times, but very light. Summer time we do feed, anyone, the middle cage and outside we feed a lot more, but the inside the shade area is a lot colder. A lot colder is not a good idea feeding too much. Okay. So when we feed them on the, on the in your, my house for example, we feed 14 times. I found 6 a.m to 6 p.m. And 7 p.m. I feed by by myself. Because I need to adjust a, a quantity of food weekly. My fastest one grows 13 and 3 quarter inch in five months. You take the first week, last week, taper in, taper out, almost one inch a week. So <laughs> you need to adjust your food regularly. Okay, anything else we need to bring up? Okay. I be around, so anybody have a question? I know some people usually they don't want to speak in front of everybody. You know, track me down. I will tell you whatever you need to know. The whole idea of this thing here is this cell basic to me is a uh, not a business because this this one is no profit. Everything comes in, we roll over to give to whatever. Okay. So ideal is you learn from me, I learn from you. Like Stanley this time, Stanley that fish, I mean, open my eye. I thought I'm doing good, but she, he just taught me this time. But I guarantee you I'll top you next year. I guarantee you. Okay? That's how we know. Say, if I tell you that's why we say, oh yeah, you're a professional. You, you have a quarry for 30 some years, right? But track him down. He's doing well. He's just like you. He pay everything like you, not like I pay hills. He pay retail just like you. He can do it, you can do it. Okay? Anything else? Thank you for coming. Enjoy. We still have a more fun drink. And enjoy the fish.